Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please leave what does not. We have the nine of sword out here first. Somebody is not in a good mental state right now. Somebody, okay, let me get something here. Let me get something here. We have the 10 of wands. Yeah, this look like jail. This look like somebody worried about being punished, worried about something happening to them, worried about the fire, worried about something extreme here. Yeah, we got the eight of wands. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me get something with this eight of wands. Like somebody, somebody feels like they could be targeted or their love could be targeted or their healing or something here with their heart or their feelings or connections or something like that. Okay, we got the queen of swords here. This could be an air sign that I'm talking about or a water sign. Okay, let me get something here. We have the page of pentacles here. Now, this could be someone and a child. Okay, let me get something here. Somebody could be worried about their children or something that they did could affect their children. Oh, my God. We got the death card over here with the page of pentacles. Wait a fucking minute, y'all. I don't think this was very smart. This queen of sword did not make a good decision here. This queen of sword is... This is a, oh my God, the things that are going through my mind right now are something else. This is like somebody f like sacrificing, oh my God, their child. But like, is this knowingly or unknowingly? The only major arcana we have here is the death card and it's over here with the page of pentacles and that's a younger energy next to the queen of sword it is. Or whatever this is, it's something here that's about to be done. Or something they're trying to build. That shit's not about to go anywhere. Because they made a really bad decision here. And they're going to have to. They're going to have to pay. I'm getting very strong Saturn here. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And this is about karma. And it, with the Nine of Swords. That don't look like it's going the right direction. Right? Like it doesn't. It looks like bad karma. We got the Four of Cups energy here. Oh my goodness. And my candle just went out. But we're going to keep going in this reading. It really makes me feel like somebody knows it's coming. Somebody knows that this is coming. Or somebody could be very disconnected from it or they're ignoring it. Or maybe they don't. I feel like somebody... <sighs> Man, I feel like somebody knows it. I feel like somebody is sad because of it. We have the Hierophant energy here. It could have been somebody that attacked a spiritual leader or something like that, or a spiritualist, or somebody that is a messenger, maybe of God. Well, not maybe, but like a messenger of God or a messenger in some kind of way. Somebody that has followers or somebody that is very respected, very trustworthy here. It's something that they did to this person or this could this person could be like a genuine like whoever they say they are that's who they really are the hierophant is a person that isn't that has an official title and there's a lot of there's a lot of titles in this world that how can i say they would say that is not official like depending on who you're talking to okay like i don't know how to say the hierophant is somebody that's trusted because they have a certain level of integrity, okay? They do what they say they're going to do. They keep their word. They do very a very good job. They help others. They teach others. They are a messenger. They, they bring something into this realm from the other realm. And this is the person that was attacked. Let me get something here. People be desperate. But they be trying the wrong ones, though. We got the Ten of Pentacles here. 
Wow. Somebody saw that this Hierophant was blessed. We have Taurus energy here. Somebody saw that they were blessed and perhaps wanted to take something. Yeah, we got the Queen of Wands right here with the Queen of Sword. I'm telling you, they did something either out of envy, out of jealousy, but they are no match for the Hierophant, though. They're no match for that. And it's like they they know it's coming. Shit, it could be somebody's spirit guides because sometimes your spirit guides, you don't got to say or do shit. Sometimes your spirit guides will go and get somebody. OK, we got the fool card here. Yeah, somebody was really a fool. Somebody was really a fool. I feel like somebody is really about to have a problem here. We got the Ace of Wands. Yeah, with the Fool card, I told you. And the Fool card is a free spirit. I really feel like this is somebody that is about to, they about to feel something here. They about to feel something here. For attacking an official person or like a spiritual being or somebody that, I don't know, like they're not just human out here. I'm just telling you, we have the Two of Wands energy. And, oh my goodness. Let me, oh, we got the Sun card here. Okay, something here is exposed. Something there is out there in the open. Okay, it's also something about the truth being out. Like somebody somebody feels very sad or they feel... I don't know how to say. Like, is it like ignored or they feel overlooked? They feel something here. And this is why they did this, but they really, they, I feel like they put themselves in danger or they put their child in danger or something like that. Then we got the Eight of Swords here. Okay, perhaps trying to block something for this Hierophant. What is this here? But no, we got the Nine of Wands here. Somebody's protected against that. It's like, but they really tried to do that though. This was their plan. This is what they tried to do, but somebody was stronger. Their energy was just stronger. We have the seven of cups energy here. I don't know if this is delusion that somebody's having. Because people be doing shit like, I don't know how to say, I'm going to say it like this. The things that, this, let's say about the services I provide, okay? The services I provide, those are about healing, breaking ties, moving beyond, breaking hexes, you know, things like that. Things that are healing. There are people that do not offer services, but they will damn sure turn to magic in order to take something from somebody else. That's that there is a difference between someone like me and somebody like that. There is a big difference. This is somebody here that uses magic to take something here. Yeah, we got judgment and I'm not lying. Look at it. The Ace of Swords and the Judgment came out out of all the cards that fell out. The Ace of Swords and the Judgment. I'm not lying. This is somebody that's going down. They're going to get judgment for this. Because it's facts. It's real. And they thought they were slick with some shit. Okay? No. We're not even going to do that. That's delusion right there. Seven of Cups. That's fucking delusion right there. That's delusion in its its best form. Okay? This person thought this was a good idea. They putting their shit in danger. Wow. We got the Ten of Cups energy here. Let me get something here. And then we have the five of pentacles, exactly what I thought. That is so sad. That is so sad. It really feels like putting somebody in, in harm's way, somebody that's innocent. That's what it feels like. It feels like somebody does not understand that, like, sometimes what you do, it has an effect on the people around you. It could have an effect on your kids. You know, sometimes it sometimes things don't hit you. They hit your damn kid. Especially if you're sending shit out that you don't even know who you're sending the shit to. You don't know who you're fucking with. You don't know what you're doing. And then when shit gets returned to you and you think you're blocking yourself, now you got your child all messed up. Because they're innocent. That's why people shouldn't be playing. That's why somebody's worried. As the first damn card, the nine of swords, that's why somebody's worried because they know they fucked up. People don't be thinking, man. It's not just about you. 
your actions have repercussions. It may hit your ass. It may hit people around you. I don't know what the hell this queen of sword was thinking. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know what they were thinking. We have the queen of pentacles. They might've been thinking about money. Let me get something here. Well, I don't know what kind of money they think about because the last row is the death card, the ace of wands and the five of pentacles. So I don't know what kind of money they thinking about. They trying to get something from you that they can't get. The nine of wands is protecting that ace of cup, 10 of pentacle and the nine of wands. That's not happening. And that's in the middle of the reading. That's very significant. It's that's not happening. We have the four of pentacles. That's what they wanted. They wanted stability. They wanted power. Okay. Let me get something here. We have the king of cups energy here. So they attack the king of cups. Could even be talking about a water sign or earth sign here. This could have even been somebody that only married for money. Like somebody only did something for money. They only did it for money. They don't care what they got to do or what they got to, who they got to hurt or how people got to suffer or who's losing, whatever. As long as they get what they want, that's how somebody moves. We have the Knight of Pentacles energy here. Okay, this is somebody that is building and whatever they're building, it is protected because you have the Nine of Wands over this and the Ten of Pentacles. Like something is moving forward here. Yeah, we have the Five of Swords right on top of that delusional ass Seven of Cups. Yeah, somebody's having a problem with the fact that you're still doing something, you're still building. They feel like something should have come to them, but it's not. It's like people don't be thinking about that shit until some shit hit them. Hit them. Now we got the Page of Wands right here. Say we got the. It's once again, we're getting this young energy in the same row. Page of Pentacles, the Fool card, the Ten of Cups, and the Page of Wands. And somebody's still having a problem with what you're doing or they're ha it's like they tried to do something, but it's not working. And now they're worried how it's going to hit them or what it's going to do. Yeah, we got the moon card. They're not going to know until it hits. The moon card is with the five of pentacles. Sometimes it's silent. Sometimes that shit goes on in your body. You just never know. But people need to stop with that bullshit. They need to stop fucking with people, messing with people, coming for people, trying to steal from people. I just did a reading on that. Yeah, we have the Six of Pentacles energy here. Let me get something here. I feel like there's an energy that worked for theirs here with their Six of Pentacles. We got the Knight of Wands here and here come that person wanting to take something from you. Here come that person trying to attack your energy. Let me get something plus his face in the Six of Pentacles. It's like somebody feels like it's not a crime what they did, but why are they worried if it's not a crime? Why are you worried if you did nothing wrong? We have the king of wands energy here. Yeah, somebody's a lot bigger than that. Somebody's the king of wands. Fuck a knight of wands. Somebody is the king of wands. Somebody been there, done that already. Let me get something here. We have the tower energy here. Yeah, somebody's not playing. Somebody is not playing. This is falling on top of the knight of, of pentacles. The knight of pentacles is going to make some shit happen. It don't matter if it's fucking slow or fast. They're going to make some shit happen. And that tower is going to hit unexpectedly. I'm trying to tell you what I'm seeing. We have the chariot energy here, cancer energy, okay? Cancer energy, like somebody just trying to move forward. Like that's like, you didn't even get what you wanted. You're trying to move forward. You're trying to move forward before a tower hit. That tower gonna follow that ass. Yeah, justice. That tower is gonna follow you. Whoever the fuck this is that think they got away with it, they worried that some shit gonna happen because it is, because they know they fucked up. If they didn't fuck up, their conscience wouldn't be eating their ass alive. Yeah, we got the Knight of Sword here. And I just said they're conscious eating their ass alive. And look at this shit right here. Conscience. We have the Knight of Sword, which is communication. We have the Moon, which is unconscious. And we have the Five of Pentacles here. This was not a good move. I don't care. This was not a good move. This was not a good idea. It was not a good move. They definitely attacked the wrong fucking person. We got the Strength card here. They definitely uh, uh, attacked the wrong person here. Leo Energy. OK, something about strength, something about power, something about being in control of your power, because when you're in your when you're in control of your power, like for real, for real, for real, like that's a whole different thing. If you out of control with your power, it could get real messy. But when you're in control, yeah, like think of a damn street fighter versus somebody that's been trained in fighting. OK, now you already know what's going to happen. You already know what's going to happen. Yeah, somebody played. Somebody definitely played. 
we have the three of pentacles here like i'm not trying to say that like anybody deserves anything you deserve what you put out there i'm seeing somebody that put themselves in a situation and put another person in this situation and they're not going to realize it until it's too late and then they want to blame other people when shit happens to them i'm telling you it's somebody here that clearly they need to make better decisions and stop trying to blame their shit on somebody else there are people that will scream they will scream witchcraft they will scream it oh this person doing this to me this person doing well what the fuck did you do <laughs> There are people that will scream and that'll be there. That'll be the only thing that they can even think of. That could be it. Okay. And sometimes it's just your karma. Okay. Sometimes that's what it is. It's not a matter of somebody doing some shit. It's just a matter of that's what you get. Let me get something here. We got this three of pentacles with this six. Right on top of the six of pentacles. We got the world card here. Okay, closing up some type of cycle. So they tried to close a business. So they tried to close something down here. They tried to shut something down. Something that you were getting. It's like the fact that they even tried. That's where you fuck up. When you try to step. When you try to step, that's where you fuck up. See, I told you somebody tried to swap that shit. Somebody tried to take it from you. That's what somebody tried to do. They tried to close your shit out. This three of pentacles is here. World card and then the two of pentacles. They tried to close your shit out and take it. That's what they tried to do. Okay, let's get something with this tower. People be thinking these energies are playing or I just do this shit for shits and giggles. I don't. This shit is real as fuck. We got the high priestess. They just confirmed it. They just let you know right there. They just let you know. It's right here. The high priestess, the, the, the reader of the tarot just came out when I said that. And it's on top of the tower. It's not for shits and giggles. Somebody should be worried. Somebody should be worried. They should be worried about the decisions that they make. Everybody should be worried about the decisions that they make so that you don't have to put yourself in those kind of situations. You can't be mad at nobody else when you make those kind of decisions that hurt others or take from others or steal from others. We have the hangman energy. Yeah, they thought they was going to get away. It's right on top of the chariot. They thought they was going to get away, but them tires is flat. Let me get something here with this justice. We have the four of swords energy here. There will be justice for real, for real. There will be peace. There will be something even laid to rest. Okay. There will be peace. And then we got the devil confirmation. Thank you, spirit. Confirmation. The devil card Capricorn energy here. I swear this person going to get ate the fuck up. Ace of sword here. I'm not lying. It's true. This person, it's like somebody don't want to see their darkness. They act like it's not dark, but they be worried as fuck. But they act like they're not dark or they don't do dark things. They do dark things. They do dark things behind the scenes. And you still going to get fucked up. J even if there is not nothing that can see you, no camera, somebody's still going to get fucked up. Yeah, Ace of Sword came out here just to say, let's be clear. That shit is toxic. That shit is wrong. That shit is destructive. That shit's not, it says raise your vibration. That's what I've been saying. Raise your vibration. Do better than that. Stop putting yourself at risk. Stop putting others at risk with your poor decision making. I don't know who this is, okay? I don't know who this is. Shit, we got the um, intuition and downloads here. Somebody does know better. Somebody need to stop playing. OK, really need to stop playing. I'm going to leave this one right here. If you like the way actually no. Hmm. Let me get something here. I wasn't even trying to end the reading right there. Let me get something here. Raise your vibration and intuition and download. So I guess our last card is going to come from this this uh, deck right here. What's this? It says healer. OK, OK. And if y'all follow me, y'all probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Let me get something here. We got the healer here. So they attacking the healer. They're trying to destroy your healer. I told you fire. And that's what they're going to get. They're going to get that fire. Let me get something here. Trying to destroy your healer. That's so stupid. Like, why are you trying to destroy the thing that's healing? So you got the talisman. You got the key here. Like, really? Why would they be trying to do that? Why would they be trying to attack somebody like that? 
The Hierophant is there to help people. Okay? To be a beacon of light. This person is all they think about is money. It's just money. Just fucking money. That's all they're thinking about. Shift. I told you this person was trying to take your shit. Okay? And it says karmic path. And that's what the fuck they get. I told you. I told you. And I even said... I think I said... Oh my God, in another reading, I think I said something about Saturn. I said Saturn is about to show him and I forgot. Shit, Saturn is right the fuck here, y'all. Number eight, I don't know. They about to learn. They about to learn and it is what it is. It is what it is, okay? They about to see why that was a bad idea. I'm gonna leave this one right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.